Sweetheart. 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 You know what? Daddy promised a surprise package for you when you graduate. Okay. Here we go. This is it.
If you don't do something about it, I'm going to do something very crazy. I'm going to do something very crazy. Hey! It's okay. <laughs> I am your mother. You know what I can do? Relax. I promise to take care of this particular one. I'll take care of it. Okay? Chief, what have we done to deserve this ill treatment? What you have done? Seriously, look me in the face to ask me what you've done. What man of woman are you? Eh? A woman that squanders millions of naira on privileges. Yet, you have no personal source of income. Eh? You single-handedly liquidated four companies set up for you. Due to your extravagant lifestyle. Which one do I mention to leave the other? Chief. Don't call me. Your daughter followed your footsteps. As little as she is, she does not know that than clubbing. Spending money on nothing, looking out for lecturers to sort out in school. I am sure if you are to be my sister or a close relation of mine, you wouldn't have advised me to keep someone who has given me no reason to believe I have a home as a wife. I take an exception to that, Chief. Amanda remains everything to me in this house. Until you and Lena change from your ways, there is no special treatment for you. Kitsis! Kitsis! Kitsis, take a look at this. Ain't they beautiful? Okay. I have never seen anyone as romantic as that. Let me tell you how it went. I woke up this morning only to see these beautiful clothes staring at me right on my bed with the inscription, surprise package for you, Amanda baby. Daddy loves you. <laughs> but you know what? I think you should check out the- How oh, dare you talk to me, you are not that thing from the slum. Take this Amanda, take that Amanda, Amanda this, Amanda that, Amanda everywhere. Are you the only person in this house? Are you? Jeez! How come I never knew you love is too long? Now you're listening, you slow. You had better go look for who your parents are because I can't stand sharing my with you any longer. That's if you have one.
Mari Who am I? Who are my parents? Who is my father and who is my mother? Because you're new here. People call her miss because she has been blind for years. How she came to live here still remains a mystery to date. The former occupants of this house all died of witchcraft. And from every indication, she is either a witch or she has something with them.
Where am I? <laughs> you are in my house. You ran into my car and lost consciousness. You're just waking up. You're just waking up now. I... If you listen to my advice, I... I'll tell you to take it easy no matter what the problem is. Take me out of here. What really happened? Take me out of here! Alright, calm down. Okay, I will. I, I will. Where? Where is your house? I mean, where do you stay? <gasps> no, I, I would really advise you should take it easy on you. You should take it easy with yourself, no matter what the problem is.
go wash my feet. And after that, you wash my clothes, because they're all dirty. And then you go on a run for me. <laughs> Let me at once. Hello? Am I not talking to someone?
Daddy? Mm. Don't tell me you just came to check on me. I'm fine. Daddy, I'm now a big girl. Draw your eyes. Very close. Good. Another step. Yes, another step. Good. Final step now. Good. Make sure your eyes are firmly closed. Come on down. You come in. Yes. You come in. Close your eyes very well. Good. You come in. Yes. Yes, come over, come over, come over, now stop, don't, don't open your eyes, don't open your eyes, good, now you can open your eyes, this is for you, now take a look. Check out. Uh, I'm proud of you, Miss Sita. This is for you. have the key. Which key? Come and have it. I 
so they be nice. They make it clear to this. Because they be too nice. They get the one in the house if you're too nice.
Thank you. So, where is your sister? Um, uh, she's in the bathroom. She will soon join you. Just make yourself comfortable. Okay.
open my dad is going to kill me. My dad should find me. My dad, my dad should not find you. something to tell us. Our ears are itching. So quiet. Yes, I've come to realize the importance of having a peaceful home. I've obviously not played the role of a good wife and mother all along. I want to use this opportunity to apologize to all that I've heard. Henceforth, I promise to make amends. I mean, it cause for celebration. Let, let, let's celebrate. This is a great news. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. That's good. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Come on. You see? I mean, I mean uh, this is a great reunion.
Mamisi. My daughter is here. My daughter is here. <laughs> My daughter is here. My daughter is here. My daughter is here. My daughter is here. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I really need to visit my daughter. And um, what did you miss? A lot. A whole lot of it. You don't have the body of the system. You are my eye. Everybody around here think I'm evil, except you. Who will take me around like this? Who? Who will cook for me? Who, who will tell me to, to change up that my clothes is dirty? Which one will I count? Which one will I love? Tell me. I know that afraid of what people might think seeing you around me. What matters to me is the joy I derive when I'm with you. And the fact that you're always happy when I'm around you. So you see how I long for you to regain your sight. I wish to see you again, my daughter. If only God would grant my prayer request, I will come and bribe your parents to make you my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? One of those good qualities I love about you. Mm -hmm. Amidst sadness, you still find a way of cracking up jokes to cheer people around you up. <laughs> you will need to get you some things, okay? Come this way. Okay. What are they saying? I'll get you some provisions and then after that you will change into something better. Mm. Please. Mm. Please. Please. I really don't understand why you keep visiting this woman. I don't know from others. Even when you know the story is surrounding her. Leave me to worry about that. Really? Hmm. Please don't call on me when things go wrong. Yes. Shimamanda, have you seen my gold necklace and my wrist bangle? Not at all, Dad. Mm. So, where, where, where could it be?
you let it get at you. I just want you to know that. Is everything all right? Chief, easy. Easy, okay? I will be with you soon. Just take everything easy. Yes, I will be there right away. In fact, I am on my way now. Yes. Just 
stepmother and your sister again, right? I have been a counselor for years, taking care of children and orphanage, and as well handled lots of adult business. Jim, I need you to understand that whenever this sort of thing comes up, repeat itself over and over again. Then something is seriously wrong somewhere and needs to be handled in there. I can't take anything necessary. They're thinking not at the expense of my life. My life is in danger. What is it again? Why do you want me to go home? I... I feel at home. When with you, I... you feel at home with me. But you just have to go. Your stepmother could be worried. They could be worried by now. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Please, I don't. Doesn't mean I will not see you again, or you will not see me. People like you don't have a place in my house, let alone to sit down. I see. So that doctor and nobody has raised your mind against me? I asked you a very simple question. How did you get to know my house and what do you want? <laughs> well... Lena baby always knew her whereabouts wherever she goes. And as for what I want. Excuse me. What do you see in that girl from the slum? That makes you to hang around her. Huh? Don't you have eyes to see that you took it for her? Come on, Nikki. Take me out. Hmm? I can't watch you. 
little boy. My father is the richest man in this town. You're back home. Oh, oh. Your dad took your car from you and gave it to your stepsister. Oh, it's okay. Come on, it's all right. Just try and calm down, okay? You don't expect him to still show you 100% love after the poison incident. It's okay, it's all right. Just calm down, huh? Oh? It's all right. Take things easy, it's okay. All right? about the way I spoke to you the other day. I don't know what came over me. Uh, that's my car packed over there. <laughs> like I told you, my father is one of the richest men in this town. I said to be my man. You will regret it, I promise you. <gasps> I really like you. Please. Hello, people. Look at this shameless lady. Asking me and telling me to be her boyfriend. People are the one. Look at her. Shameless. She's very, very shameless. Look at her. Look at her. Very shameless. She's asking me out. Yeah, come, come. I swear you will regret this. What is it, sir? Can, can you imagine that lady asking me to be her boyfriend in public? Look, don't steal me. Is that right? Look at, look at, shameless. Come here. Are you right? See, is it, is it okay? Look, I'm willing to tell 
the song. It's my toy, and I observed it myself. There's this strange movement observed around the house, and the suspect happens to be a young man. Spotted kissing, romancing, and twerking Amanda in the pocket. Oh, uh, good Amanda. Yes, darling. Oh, take a look at the court. I think we need to watch it. My bag. What about your bag? I couldn't find it. That bag contains a huge sum of money. My international passport and other valuables. You seriously don't get the meaning of this recent death in this house. Have you checked Amanda's room? I don't get it. Honey, do you remember what I told you? Concerning strange movement around the house. Yes, I do. What are you saying? Good day, Mr. Michael. From Stacey ID. We have a search warrant to conduct search in your house. Seriously, I don't understand. Uh, what for? Mr. Donald here lay complaint concerning a missing bag containing a good amount of money, jewelry, international passport, and some other documents. <laughs> I, I seriously, I don't. May we?
the mother not be picking her cords. What could be possibly wrong with her?
I'm so sorry for what I made you go through. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I couldn't come to check up on you. The reason was, was because my dad locked me up. My stepdad. I'm sorry. I went to the police station and I was told you've been released. I swear. I swear with my life. No, 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 no! You do not need to swear! I believe you. I believe you. You, you. you don't have to swear. I do believe you. Because I know it's a setup. Yes. My, my stepmother and sister are behind it. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you your stepsister has been harassing me for friendship. Yes. What are you thinking? Just let you be now.
my cause, O oh Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to the shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be a strap and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Read in Psalm 35. Paulina, babe. Lina! Lina!
What happened to Jenny with the nonsense? Hmm, not the moon. Just that the adopted child from the slum was praying against me with her life and I had to say it that way. Just that? Just that. Are you okay, mom? I wish I could just wake up and discover it was all a nightmare. Each day that comes by brings forth sadness and sorrows. Why didn't I listen? Why didn't I listen when I was told the blind woman is evil? Continuous association with her brought, brought joy to my heart. But misfortunes around me. Little did I know that is the way they operate. Kill you with one hand and and make you feel like the other hand is bringing life. Why didn't I listen to you? Why didn't I listen to you? Why didn't I listen to you? Greetings, my daughters. Please, I'm, I'm looking for my eye. Yes, I, I, I used to be blind. I stayed two poles away from, from the market. Mamis, yes, that, that's me. But I, I'm looking for somebody who was coming to the house then to assist me, to, to cook for me, to take me around. She, she was everything to me. She was my eye. I don't know. Have, have you seen her? Rita, I'm out of here. Rita, are you not coming with me? That voice! There's something about that voice! Rita! to the one who took care of me when I was blind. See, I may not have gold or silver, but what I have I will give. A word of thanks and blessing. That's why I'm here. Madam, I do not know. And I've never met you before, so please, leave! Please, I may be blind then, but my senses were 
still are intact. You will recognize the voice of the one who will make me believe that every day is not for sorrow. Tell me, my daughter, why do you avoid me? Why? Madam, like I said earlier, I do not know you, and please, we have never met before. So please, take your evil blessing to whoever that wants it. Leave now! I said leave, can everyone just let me be? Just let me be. Can everyone just leave me alone? Leave me alone, leave! <gasps> What is happening here? Just, just leave me alone. <laughs> you? That woman is a threat. A threat to this family. A threat to you and I. Don't understand. Her existence is a threat to your existence and my existence in this family. In that case, Amanda is a threat since she was in the room. That woman must go down. you dead. What was your crime? Who wants me dead? My stepmother and her daughter want you dead by all means. Evil I already know they are. Tell me. Are you really evil like people say? Is this a case of evil against evil? Or evil against good?
ke suku bunga not be enough. Ma! My drugs are finished. And I am in trouble. I need more money for my drugs. Please. I need more money. Listen to me, Mr. Timothy. I am not in a right frame of mind now. You have to leave this company now. Because I have no money for you. No! You must give me money for my drugs, so. Yes, I will tell the world that I am the biological father of Lena and not her uncle, as people think. My angel, I am your biological father. I am your biological father. Please, plead with your mother to give me money for my drugs. The drugs are finished and I am in trouble. Talk to your mother. People, come on, people. I will not agree. What is it? I will not agree. You've been there really telling me that you hear me that stinking old fool from the slum to be got me. Mr. Timothy Ibezimako is your biological father. You suck. This is no time to apportion blames, my daughter. We've got to move on. You see, um, I used to be a junk. And Mr. Timothy. He was actually doing well for himself before I got married to Chief Donald. After my marriage, he was still coming around. You know your father? He used to travel a lot. Trust me, girl. Whatever happened between Mr. Timothy and I was an accident. What are you saying, Mom? You, 
you driving me crazy? I can stand to lose all of this. I can't. What, what do you think would have happened if Daddy were to be around? I think we need to strike at once. I don't think. I know. We've got a list of them in my black book. First, Cecilia, the woman that showed her ugly face the other day. Second, Mr. Timothy Ibezimako, your biological father. Is that a third? Maybe. Amanda, your stepsister. things in anger. If I was not blind after the whole incident. So whatever God's plans are, it's good to pass. I still think you need to act fast. Because too many have gone to the world beyond in their sorrows.
This is obviously not a good one, Chief. For the past one month, Chimamanda has not set a feet in this house. I'm totally confused myself. I've not been around before. I've got almost times for my business. All the same, but I've gone to police to the DMs. I said it when I noticed how footsteps has changed. Who said it? All she could to make sure that she kills me. But whoever God stands for, you can never go against. You obviously brought this upon yourself. I warned you. I warned you as a close friend. Lift you down out for me in peace. He's not even your type. He is the only man that has caught my attention in recent time. But you paid deaf ears. You went ahead and started making marriage plans with me. You see, the stubborn fly the sea follows the cops to the grave. <laughs> did I not leave it for you, Clara? Yes, you did. But that was a bit late. I discovered that he was actually in love with you. In as much as I was able to convince him of the picture I took you with a man naked in a hotel room. That were a whore. I still got to leave no choices. I already fed him with the information that you were murdered in cold blood during one of your escapades with another man. Have you seen yet another reason? I've got to leave no traces. Your existence might pollute the air someday. You know all that I know true, Clara. You dropped me. Tell them that in the next world. I need you to be thrown into Ashima, the river of blindness. 
You have to remain blind, even in the next world. Take her away. Take her. No, no, please. No, please, I beg you, please. No, no, please. Where is my baby? That was the same baby that was abducted 23 years ago by Chief Dona here. Chief. Chief Amanda here is your baby. Clara, 
you and your daughter Lina are under arrest for the attempted murder of Cecilia and Amanda and for the murder of Mr. Michael and Mr. Timothy Besimago, the biological father of Lina. I... I... Don't try to deny it because you deserve no mercy. You ask us to go away with them because they are hostile to you and your family. I don't want Chintona to, to know that Mr. Timothy is the biological father of Lina. After working for you for years, I'm going to tell us to clean up. Yes, I need with Timothy to be got Lina. Since all you do is travel here and there, forgetting that I'm a woman. But I actually didn't ask them to kill him. Mrs. Clara, we have got a thousand and one evidence to back up our facts. And I suggest you remain silent. For anything you do or say will be used as evidence. Are you going to stand there and watch them take us away? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing I can do now. What? Mom, you're such a coward. Should I be you in life as a bit of roses? Contrary to what people think. Now, one can actually defeat a half whatever one wants at any point in time. Oh, my father told me that all the blackmail and plots against Amanda and Nikki are now in vain. Move it! Move! I hate to be a